What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Satin, and I'm back. It's a beautiful day out today. So, me and my girl and my honey, he's outside pumping gas right now. We're actually headed to the Magic Wings Butterfly Conservatory just for like a little family day since it's nice outside. And excuse my eyebrows, they look crazy. However, I'm growing them back in because I had a bad experience. But, I'm gonna take you along for a little bit of our day so you can see how it is. It's gonna be fun. Um, it's about like a 40 minute drive from where we live. So it shouldn't take too long and I've been excited to bring my girl cause she's been obsessed with butterflies lately. But stay tuned. <laughs> Right, so those gas prices hit differently nowadays. So uh, we decided to hop in the Tesla uh, versus wasting, you know, that 40 minute drive on gas. We can use some electric power. As you can see, I began bored in the car. <laughs> but, you know, this is a little bit of our drive up there. It's through like the Berkshire Mountains, so it's pretty scenic. I guess there's a lot of mountains and trees and stuff like that. And as you can see, my baby girl fell asleep and I was probably annoying the crap out of my honey at this point. <laughs> nostalgic driving through here because I am a UMass Amherst alum and I actually lived in this area for quite some time so it always brings back uh, you know my old college memories and also childhood memories so this is the magic wings butterfly conservatory this is just us like pulling in as you can see it's like a huge like greenhouse um, and it's just right across from the farm we actually had to turn around and go put Olani's stroller back in the car because they don't allow for strollers. But this is just the entrance. You see it's super cute. There's like all types of flowers and plants and you know gives you that whole butterfly <laughs> conservatory vibe. Uh, this here is Hello. actually their gift shop. Um, they have everything butterfly related. Lani was really into all the plants in the lobby area she kept trying to go come back on. and they have this really cute butterfly right. chair on, that go. I'll show you at the end and she was oh, pretty obsessed with that as well so once you enter the butterfly conservatory they have an array of different uh, animals you know they have like crabs um, there's fish there's all types of insects and lizards and geckos and all the little animals that you can imagine and my fiance is a huge reptilian fan um, growing up he had I think every animal you can think of and I'm pretty sure he is trying to turn my daughter into one as well so he was just kind of going through teaching her about all the different animals and the snakes and things like that and she was loving it <laughs> actually the entrance to the butterfly conservatory um lonnie was holding super tight to her daddy because she did not know what to expect we just told her there were going to be butterflies everywhere and i still don't think she expected what she was about to see but it's so pretty so i'm just gonna let you all view for yourself look at the butterfly Lenny is 
So the butterflies aren't the only animals that live in the conservatory. This is Akbar. He's a parrot. He's extremely intelligent and really cute. Um, you're not supposed to get too close to him, but he was just kind of hanging out, flying around. They also have little snapping turtles in here as well that were just walking around. And this one was a little biter. He kept trying to bite all of our shoes. And I can say they have pretty sharp teeth. <laughs> and as you see, uh, the butterflies just land anywhere. They obviously are in their own habitat so it's just really beautiful to see and at this point my girl finally kind of warmed up to the fact that she was in the butterfly conservatory and she was ready to be amongst all of them just kind of admiring the view so we decided to head out from the butterfly conservatory and we were not ready to end our day so we decided to go up the street to yankee candle village and if you've never been there you absolutely should go but um for those who aren't familiar yankee candle is like this huge candle company and it's located right up the street from the butterfly conservatory and as you can see it says it's always christmas here and once we get inside you'll see exactly what that means so this place is super cute it's yankee candle um it's like up the road from the butterfly conservatory so we were like ah oh, we might as well come i've come here numerous times as a child so it's a great experience it's like christmas all year long it was pretty fun so hope you enjoy As you can see literally it's Christmas everywhere they have all the cute little Christmas village decorations if you are looking for a way to amp up your Christmas decor for this year hit up Yankee Candle they literally have everything that you can imagine that is Christmas related like I said it's 
Christmas on steroids and they have it broken up into all these cool little cute themed rooms so each room brings like a different vibe. This area is like for the children and during Christmas time they have Santa Claus in there so you can go into Santa's workshop and like take pictures and get hot cocoa and stuff like that. Um, it's like the Harry Potter area like very medieval and my daughter somehow convinced us to buy her this like $30 freaking Abby toy. She's obsessed with Elmo and all things Sesame Street and Abby right now so of course we had to grab it for her. So this little area had like all the cute little Disney themed you know Christmas ornaments and stuff like that. Uh, then we made our way into the waxwork section where you are actually able to make your own candles so we did that. You can choose your color, your scent. So after we shopped till we dropped I bought about a bajillion candles for myself and my mom because she absolutely loves Yankee Candle too. We headed on over to they have like a little beer distillery slash pizza place which is attached to it. So we headed over and had some craft beer and Olani was asking for pizza so we had some pizza and just kind of vegged out and ended our day here until we headed back home so i'm gonna close my vlog out here if you're looking for something fun to do with your toddler and you're in the western mass area i totally recommend both the butterfly garden and yankee candle and i hope you enjoyed peace